This is a 57A100 International, which was the anniversary special that International put out representing 50 years of the truck business. Uh, I saw this truck uh, one day when I was going home from work. The man had stopped at a stoplight. I recognized the truck, even though it was red on the bottom and white on top. And I asked him right then, because I, I hadn't seen one for since in 61, when I was working for an international dealer back in southern Minnesota. And I recognized it as the anniversary special. Uh, I asked him right away if he would sell it. And his answer was not by a damn sight, because he says, that's my transportation to work. And the light turned green, and away he went. About two months later, our local club had a car show. And I saw this guy walking around, looking at cars and looking at the gas engines that were on display there. And I recognized him this time, and I asked him again if he would sell his truck. No, he says, I have no idea of selling it. I've had it for 15 years, and he says, it's part of the family. Well, at this time, I knew there was no chance that I would ever be able to get this truck. So I says, let's go over and take a look at it. I says, I'll bet you there's some either brown or gold paint under that red. So we went over, and we found some where the mirrors had been, been mounted. And I says, you got an anniversary special truck here. And I says, there was very few of them made. So I says, whatever you do, if you fix it up yourself or if you're going to sell it to anybody, I says, make sure that you sell it to somebody that's going to bring it back to life. And he just kind of agreed. He says, it's just an old truck as far as I'm concerned. Um, but eight months later, he gave me a call one noon, and he says, do you still want to buy my truck? And my first thought then was, why did I ever tell him that it was a special truck? Because I know the price is going to go up. And I had never really looked at the truck because I, you know, I, I knew I wasn't going to be able to buy it. So I never looked it over real close. And I got to looking, and I found a few faults with it, but nothing really serious that I thought. And I said, well, what are you expecting to get out of this? And, well, he says, my wife and I were kind of talking maybe $1,500. Well, I says, at $1,500, I says, I guess you better find somebody else to buy it, because I says, it's going to take too much money to bring it back. And, well, he says, I kind of thought that, too. But he says, afterwards, we kind of decided maybe $700 would be, would be a fair price for it. And I said, well, that sounds a lot better than 15. But I said, 600 sounds better than 700. Well, he says, as long as that's 700, he says, that's fine, or 600, that's fine with me. But he says, you'll have to talk to my wife. Well, I hesitated for a little bit, and I says, well, for $100, I don't think I want to talk to your wife. I says, I'll give you your $700 for it. Okay, this 57 A100 had the six-cylinder engine, and there was an option, a 220, 240, or a 264. Now, according to the line setting form that came, that was made with this truck, this should be a 240 engine, but it, at one time it has been changed. So it's now a 264 engine. Uh, everything is the same except that many cubes in, 24 more cubic inches in the engine. Uh, so that, that part has been changed. Other, other than that, everything is the, is the original on it. Okay, this is the first year that International made a box with all the side trim on it and the full, full fendered uh, on their box before they always had just the fender over the wheel. There was no other truck that International ever made, and, and as far as I know, no one ever made with this type of an arrangement on the rear. They put this chrome over the corner, then they had this bullet-shaped taillight with the reflector. And inside of this uh, tailgate, of course, there were cables that, that supported the tailgate when it was down. 
and to retract those cables, there's two reels inside, one for each cable. And when you bring the cable up, or bring the box up, the cables are retracted automatically. 